<laughs> Whose stupid idea was it to record on a Friday freaking night? Mm. Arse. Although, ironically, if we weren't recording on a Friday night, what would you have been doing? Sleeping. We could, you, Actually, no, I probably would have been, would have been recording, recording on a, on a Friday, Friday night. night. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a very good point. So we'll stop moaning about that now. At which point I probably would have said, who's stupid idea is it to record on a Friday <laughs> fucking night? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, let, uh, let's do it. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to the Tuesday Show with CJ and Ted. It's episode number... What are you humming? I'm singing along with the... Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, you Not on. necessary. No. Episode number 20 of the Tuesday Show. And uh, this week we're going to be minding our manners. Sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> I enjoyed it. You had a, a certain amount of... Uh, it had a certain cachet. Cachet. <laughs> <laughs> a, certain, a certain je ne sais quoi. A, sh- a certain gravitas. A certain gravitas. Yeah. Yeah. Gravitas? Gra- <laughs> <laughs> I know it's saggy, but Jesus. <laughs> it's going for gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Gravity's a real thing. Ah! <sighs> there it is. Just sunk down to the bottom of your trousers. Yes. That's why you can't wear skinny jeans. Correct. Talking of skinny jeans... Something that I do, which sometimes gets remarked upon, uh-huh. and I don't know if anybody else does it, I always put my shoes and socks on first before my trousers. I, I, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I always put my shoes and socks on before my trousers. Socks I get. Yeah. But shoes? Yeah. What? Why not? Because they then get stuck inside. Believe no. me, I've tried this. Like your you shoes see, this get is what I, this is what I don't understand. Right? Why? Why do people seem to think it's such a problem? Because it's a problem, right? I will concede that there is a time when I don't do this. Obviously, not wellies. That <laughs> would be ridiculous. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, um, sort of combat boots. Uh-huh. All right, not that I wear combat boots an awful lot, but if I, you know, those well, don't. When we used to, th- yeah, they will not go through the trousers. No. But most of the shoes will. So shoes on first, then trousers. I feel like I need to t- try this out again. I'm not done here this for years. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't want you to remove your trousers. Are you sure? <laughs> Absolutely sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I d- no, I haven't done this for years. I mean, since I was a child. Mainly, uh-huh. mainly because when I was a child, I thought, what would happen if I put my shoes on first? Because mm. my parents have taught me, you know, socks, then your your trousers, <laughs> then your shoes. Yeah. They taught you well. They did, yeah. But? but So then I tried shoes. I was like, you know, mm. I want to rebel. You know, well, you're going to experiment, aren't you? Exactly, yeah, <laughs> as, as, as you do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it never worked. And I don't understand how you make that work. I feel like I don't, dem- I don't understand why it doesn't work for people. I feel like a demonstration how is How big are order. your shoes? My my shoes, right, I'm I'm size 12. Uh-huh. Yeah, you Christ, heard it here first. clown feet. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I don't have especially large trousers. Not in the leg. No. Well, I say it's you know getting through the the, the, the waist. I'll concede. I say getting through the the, <laughs> the big bigger. hole at the top is fine. Yeah, but that's fine. As it goes down the trouser leg, yeah, you sh- the your soles will just get caught. No, because I, I don't wear skinny jeans. Now, I suppose if you're wearing like leather soled shoes where they go smooth, yeah, that's fine because they slide quite nicely through your trousers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're wearing like rubber soled shoes, yeah. well, that just couldn't work. Like yeah. trainers. But even, even like my um, uh, desert boots will yes. go through. Even, even even these. Hang on. Those those go through. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Well, he's wearing like um, board sneakers. Yeah. See, I mean, I've never tried it with these. Yeah. I've got my yeah. my chucks on. But anyway, there's, there's a re- chucks on with Saint Laurent. There is a reason why I do this. Yeah. Well, there's a number of reasons. One is right. Let's say, for example, you're in the swim swim baths. Uh-huh. Okay, not in the actual pool because yeah. you wouldn't be tra- wearing trousers or shoes in there. Well, you never know. 
Strange, strange things have happened. You might wear a Veruca sock. <laughs> Do you uh, remember are Veruca still a thing? I don't know. Are they still a thing? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody said that Verucas aren't actually transferred through water. Are they not? No. It's, are they... it's, it has to be a, it's, it's basically like warts on your hands. Yeah. It's just through being too sweaty and disgusting oh, okay. and not yeah. hygienic. But that was a big thing at one it time. It was a big thing. I remember Veruca I, socks. I had a Veruca sock yeah. when I was a kid, yeah. I remember having a, <laughs> a Veruca sock and coming out into the pool and I got, you know, walked up the up, up the side <laughs> all the way yeah. up to the other end where the swimming lessons were. And I thought, hang on, something's not right here. <laughs> Realised I had it on the wrong foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure at one stage I asked my mum for a second Veruca sock. Yeah. Just so I could have one for each foot. Yeah. Because I felt weird having just one it sock. It is weird on. wearing one sock. Yeah. Even if it is a, a weird rubber sock. Yeah. It was just, yeah, it felt yeah, strange to yeah. me. What an odd thing. Yeah. Funny the things people do. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> not so funny is putting your trousers on second. Yeah, swimming baths. Right. So you're in the changing room. Uh huh. The floor can be wet. Yeah. So the last thing I want to do is get my trousers wet. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, not in that way. Also, I don't want to get my feet wet. Okay, So yeah. I dry my feet, so mm-hmm. dry, dry foot, sock, yeah. shoe. It's never going to get wet again. Right. Same with the other one. But then the water that's then on the bottom of your shoe is now on the inside of your trousers. Okay. Well, you know, I don't stand... I don't set out to stand in puddles. No, I, I understand that. But anyway, then I get my trousers and then I can slip my feet into the... Okay. Into the trousers. I, I kind of I kind of see where you're going. There's, an, there's another reason for this. Go ahead. It is much easier to run in shoes, holding trousers, <laughs> than it is to, <laughs> to, you from experience. to to run in trousers with without any shoes, <laughs> holding shoes. Are you speaking from experience? Not from experience, <laughs> but it but it does make me think. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> But no, it does. It does make me think. Uh, yeah. So you you you're there. You're getting you're getting dressed, uh-huh. and then there's some sort of emergency. It right. could be it could be a fire alarm. Could be a terrorist attack. Could be a jealous husband. It could be anything. Right. And you've just got to go. Well, look, I've got my shoes on. I'm ahead of the queue. <laughs> yeah. Everybody else is floundering around trying to put the trousers up. You know. Um, you know, messing about doing the flies up and you know running out. I'm in my shoes. I'd rather just stay and burn whilst I get my trousers on no, and, I don't and then care. my shoes. I don't. I don't care if it's if it's an emergency situation. I'd rather be stood stood outside, simply slipping on my trousers before anybody gets their camera phone out, <laughs> than actually be in a, a burning building. Mm, I just pick up my shoes and run with them. That's mm. what I do. But but in the, in the case of the swimming baths, I used to just fold like the towel in half, or maybe a quarter, depending how big the towel was, and put that on the floor. So that stopped my feet from getting wet. Yeah, but then you've got your towel on the floor. It's all right. I'm going to take it home and wash it. But anyway, that's that's something I... I uh... you caught me off guard there. A little yeah. Bit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if if you put your shoes on before your trousers, mm-hmm. please get in touch and let us know. Yeah. Um, details to follow at the end of the show. Yeah. Um, I'm genu- <laughs> genuinely interested because that's... Because everyone's obviously raised differently. Yeah, your yeah. parents raise you in such a way that... Do uh, don't, you... don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You, you... This, this wasn't a parental thing. Just something you no, figured out on your own. This is something I figured out on my own. I thought to myself, "Do you know what? What am I doing? Right? What? What, what if it all kicks off? I need. I want my. I want my shoes on. I want what, my what, shoes on first. What if the air raid siren goes off while I'm getting out of the shower? The first thing that needs to go on is my shoes. You know, forget everything else. I can run, drive, do everything with just shoes on. I can drive without shoes. That's fine. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, I know, but it's it's not easy. Hmm. I've done it at the beach. Yeah. Not on the beach. <laughs> Just driving around the beach. <laughs> Get out of the way! Get out of the way! <laughs> uh, in, 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 in your dune buggy. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. So, anyway, I'm not entirely sure how I got onto that. What were we talking about? Yeah. Shoes? Yeah, you started talking about shoes. Did I? Uh, I really don't remember. Well, anyway, it does actually lead me onto something. <laughs> right. Because I was thinking about etiquette. Yes. Now right. you remember you remember last week and the week before we were talking about things that it's like to be British? I do. I was there. You were there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um you you were there, of course. And I thought a nice little follow on from that is something that I saw online, which was a quiz on etiquette. Okay. And I thought, let's have a crack at this. Cool. Have a quick look and see whether or not we can mind our manners. Sure. 
Could you pass a British etiquette test? I'm guessing not. Take this quiz and find out. I'm guessing for me, maybe not. Oh, you we'll probably see. could. We'll see. I don't even know what the questions are. <laughs> um, it's probably complete rubbish. This is on the... Uh, what is um, your favourite dinosaur? What is... <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite dinosaur? That's what they usually like. It's like <laughs> when you do these quizzes, like uh, which dinosaur are you? <laughs> exactly, that's, that's it. And you go, you know, we need to find out which pizza you are. And you go through these questions, one of, and one of them is, "What's your favourite dinosaur?" And you're like, "What the hell has that got to do with pizza?" <laughs> God's sake! <laughs> which of these chocolate bars is the best? Yeah. Which character from Friends are you? Yeah. yeah. Sod off. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is... I mean, it's probably going to be that bad, because it's not in the... Um, oh, should I say where it's from? It's from a newspaper uh-huh. that if you looked at it... Well, I'll just call it the looking glass. Okay. All if right. you looked at this newspaper, you'd see yourself. You would. You okay. would indeed. Well, hopefully not. God, if I'm on the front page of that, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to a new stand near you. Yeah. <laughs> Disgraced former podcaster. No, so, um, okay, what, what, would your head, what would your headline be? What do you think your headline would be? <laughs> Disgraced former podcaster Ted James seen putting his shoes on before his trousers. <laughs> That'll be it. It's just some kind of superhero thing, I think. Yeah. Anyway, so let's have not, a look. Not all superheroes wear trousers. Mm. Question... Not all superheroes wear trousers. That took you a second, didn't it? <laughs> not all superheroes wear dressing gowns. So, where are we? Could you pass the British etiquette test? Take this quiz uh, on this high-quality newspaper website. Mm. Okay, first question. When you sit down at a dinner party, uh-huh. what should you do with your napkin? Multiple choice. Right, okay. Happily. So what are the what are the I think I know what the answer at least should be. Yep. Um but what are the what are the options? Okay. Three options. Uh-huh. I should have said four. I should have made one up for <laughs> Just make one up for <laughs> just for the hell of it. So you do this, you do that, yeah. or you uh tie your shoelaces with it. Yeah. So. Um immediately place it on your lap, mm-hmm. took it into the front of your shirt, uh-huh. or leave it until you start eating. I don't know. I don't, see, again, I don't know. No no one's taught me this. Yeah. I can see an argument for... I mean, there's no urgency. I mean, immediately place it on your lap. I mean, I, I probably would. As soon as you've sat down? Well, not as soon as I've sat down, because I sat down... But that's know. what the question was, wasn't it? As well, soon as you sit yeah, down. Yeah, as soon as you sit down. I mean, you can. You can sit down. You can still be talking. Mm-hmm. You just pick up your napkin out but of the But if you're sitting down, you're about to eat anyway, aren't and you? And you just go, you know, whacking it and stick it on your, yeah. your, your lap. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't tuck it into the shirt. That's a no. No, that's a no. That's a definite no. Yeah. Unless you're my nan. She used, to, she used to like tuck it into the top of her blouse, but that's because she yeah. always got food down there. Yeah. Bless her. <laughs> Couldn't take her anywhere, not even back to apologise, you know. <laughs> I miss you, nan. Love you. But uh, no, I'd, go, I'd say probably, no, you'd wait till you start eating. But again, the argument for putting it on your lap immediately is when they serve the food, if they spill it, it's not going to go all down your trousers. Yes, true, true, um, true. But then again, I'd hope the waiting staff were good enough at a dinner party mm. that, you know, they wouldn't spill yeah, food yeah. down me anyway. But anyway, definitely, um, definitely not took it in for two shirts. Yeah. Definitely not playing your nose with it. No. Nope. Should we say immediately placed on your lap? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, think I mean, so. no. I mean, you don't have to do it like critically early. No. So, like, I wouldn't have thought quick, you'd have to do it. First thing. That's yeah. it. I'm sitting down. First thing I do is yeah, grab it. No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm talking. You know, more probably. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm talking right now. I'm saying, yeah. when's dinner? Yeah. We want food. Come on, I've been, sat here, for, food. I've been sat here for a split second. Where's, yeah. my, where's my food? I've even got my napkin out. Exactly. <laughs> Just blow my nose with it. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. You receive an invitation to a fancy party. Mm-hmm. I nearly misread that as a fancy dress party. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you go as? <laughs> Actually, that's a new question. You get, <laughs> this is like right, an off-topic. <laughs> off-topic, right? You you get invited to a fancy dress party. What do you go as? My first thought was, you know, Hitler. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> that was the first thing that came to my head. Hitler. Hey, how he did it, you know. Why the hell not, you know. It didn't go down very well, though. I don't think it's illegal, but I think no. it's frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Seagull. But, uh, but I suppose if you're only following orders. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Anyway. What, but what, what would you go as? What would I go? I don't know. You can't um, ask me and they're not. not uh, Churchill. Churchill. Um, <laughs> so. We're screwed then. <laughs> no, the dog. 
<laughs> I'll take my own little parcel shelf. I'll say, you've, got the, you've got the, I've got the wobbly chin for it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> anyway, sorry, the you, question was... So the actual question was, you receive an invitation to a fancy party. Uh-huh. When do you RSVP? Ooh. Ooh. I suppose it depends on when the party is. I was going to say, there's there's a couple of trains of thought there. That's, you know, if the party's like in a week's time, mm-hmm. you're going to RSVP mm-hmm. ASAP. Well, I'll know. tell you what, should we do the multi-choice? Yeah. Multi-choice is within 24 hours of receiving the invitation, uh-huh. within a week of receiving the invitation, mm. or any time before the respond-by date given. Any time before the respond-by date given. Well, my, my temptation is to say within a week of receiving the invitation. Now, obviously, we don't know whether the respond-by date is within the week. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we don't have enough information for this question. I'd probably say going by that, you're probably talking maybe a couple of months down the line. Okay. Like, like a dining-in night or something. I think I would probably aim to do it within a week. I'd aim for that, I, but it, it wouldn't happen. I, I've got a feeling that's the answer to the question. Yeah. I think that's probably the right answer. Okay. But I'll go with that. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll go with that. <laughs> any time before the respond by date. Mm-hmm. And this actually kind of bugs me because that would be correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because otherwise you wouldn't have a respond by date. Exactly. But you know when you have deadlines? Yeah, yeah. And people say, oh, just want to uh, point out that the deadline is tomorrow. Yeah, I, I okay. know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. That's, that's what tomorrow is for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But people yeah. do that, don't they? They give mm. you a deadline for something, and then they say, I've not had it yet. Well, no. So we're not on the deadline yet. And, and you won't do. <laughs> oh, you're leaving it a bit tight. No, I'm not. That's the deadline you set. Yeah. You set a deadline, you'll have it by the deadline. Yeah. You know, sod off. <laughs> stop Stop bugging me. Or soon after the deadline. Um, <laughs> I was like, in, in <laughs> to a, be fair, <laughs> in, in a lot of cases, it happens afterwards, yeah. Sometime after the extended yeah. deadline. Ted, we must be there by nine o'clock. <laughs> so we'll see you there at nine thirty. Sure. Ten thirty rolls around. He's still not here. This is our estimated time of arrival at the studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your ETA? Oh, um seven thirty? Yeah. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. 7.30 rolls by. <laughs> neither of us are here. <laughs> and that's when neither of us are there at, at, on time. <laughs> but, but but the great thing is is the fact that you... um What's it called? What's it called on the phone? Find friends. Find friends. Yeah, find, find friends on the iPhone. And I can track where you are. Mm. So it doesn't matter what ETA you give. <laughs> I can... <laughs> <laughs> and you still turned up two hours behind I, me last I, time. I can get. I can get. Yeah, that's right. But <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can see when I'm leaving. I'm even saying I'm leaving. I'll be there at this time. Yeah, yeah. and you're still two hours behind me. But at least I know how late you are. True. That's, that always happens. Anyway, so should we say within a week of receiving the invitation? Yes. Let's right. say that. Okay. Here we go. You're at a dinner party. Hmm. And somebody gets your name wrong. This is interesting. Oh, okay. What do you do? Now, let me give you the options. One, let it slide. You don't want to embarrass them. Two, nothing initially, but then take them aside later in the evening and correct them privately. Or three, correct them immediately to avoid embarrassment. Uh, now, we touched upon this, didn't we? We, the we o- did. The other week. We did. And um, I feel like context is needed. If, yeah. we, if we're just sat around a table and we're ch- generally chatting out and someone goes, oh, you know, DJ, I'll be like, no, 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 C- CJ. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. C- yeah. D- CJ the DJ. Yeah, D- DJ CJ. Thanks very much. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you all. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> FM. FM. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, if I was at a dinner party, I'd, I'd have you there just behind me. <laughs> just, so what's your name? CJ Brooks. FM. There you go. And that's all you're there for. Just uh, whenever, whenever I'm name drops, just, just, for introdu- just for introductions. As soon as you've done that, I'm off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Slip See your fiver. Yeah. <laughs> See you in the next shindig. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but no, I'd, I'd probably correct them straight away yeah. w- without being rude about it. Just mm-hmm. go, sorry. Mm-hmm. You know, my name's not yeah. Billy Bob. It's. Yeah, CJ. Yeah, I don't really know if there's a right answer to that. Well, but I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave it and then go and correct them later on. Would you not? No, because yeah. that, that just seems stupid. I, I think, it, as you say, it depends on the context. How many people are around the table? Exactly. Are you friends with them? Precisely. I'm leaning towards nothing initially, but then take them aside later and correct them privately. I might just sit there and just go, "Don't you know who I am?" 
and then stand up and say, right, yes, but <laughs> and then, then, then there's a danger they'll say, no, we we don't actually. Um, what are you even doing here? And why are you dressed as Hitler? Mm. <laughs> For the seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to take nothing initially, but take them aside later in the evening. Yeah, okay. See, it, I, it, I wouldn't do that, but... Uh, I don't know. It depends. It. I think we need, as you say, more context. Yeah. We need to be put into that situation to see what we'd actually yeah. do. When chatting with someone uh-huh. you don't know... Which of the following conversations should be avoided? This is an easy one. The weather, mm. politics, right. or your family? Um, politics. <laughs> I ain't talking politics to someone I don't know. No. I generally don't talk politics that much anyway. No. Definitely not Brexit. No. no. I'll say, although once you pull that pin out, yeah, you better be prepared. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's coming at you at both barrels. <laughs> and half the guests are leaving. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> half the guests are going, right, right. <laughs> Had enough of this. I just wanted to talk about the weather. Yeah. Um, um, I think politics. I think yeah. politics is a, how many, is a bit of a no-go. How many questions Politi- are there? Politics and religion. All together. Yeah. Do well, you know, on this quiz. Yeah, do you know how many there are? I, I don't know how many there are. Oh, right. I just think, I think it's time for a break. Well, I think it's time for a break. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was time for a break as soon as I said the Brexit word. Oh, okay. <laughs> Commonly known as Brexit. Commonly known as Brexit. Brexit. So, let's have some music. Sure. Do you want to intro track number one, or shall I I can intro Stereo in Solo with Flowers on the Moon.
Devio in solo. Flowers on the moon. Flowers on the moon. Button moon. Don't know why. Mean, I've not seen that for a long while. It's been a while for me. Mm. Yeah. We follow Mr. Spoon. Button moon. Yeah. yeah. That's good, that. What, my singing or the show? The show. Well, not the singing. singing. Oh, thanks. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so I don't know whether... The, <laughs> there's, there's no indication of whether we're going to get these right or not. No, I guess we won't find out until we, the end. We won't find out until the end. Now, <clears throat> next question. Uh-huh. We're talking about etiquette. Yes. And most of these seem to be about dinner parties. Mm. Where should the host of a dinner party sit? Okay. Um, Anywhere they like, as long as it's facing the table. It's their party. They can do whatever they in, like, in I guess. Room. Actually, mm. let me give you the options. Go on. Okay, option one, at the head of the table. Okay. Option two, in the middle of their guests. Ooh. And surely between their guests. Like yeah. in the middle of their guests. I thought you don't want to sit in the <laughs> middle of them. Wait, wait, wait. Or three, nearest to the door. So they can escape. Yes, if need be. As long yeah. as they've got their shoes on, they can carry their trousers. <laughs> <laughs> trousers are optional. <laughs> yeah. Depends what kind of um, dinner party it is, I suppose. Well, that's it. So, you know, you, you know what you... <laughs> yeah. Grab a car keys, run. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what is the etiquette? No, anyway, go on. But you've just said, well, you've just said it. That it depends on, on the din- the dinner party, really. I, I mean, I don't... I don't know. Because I've, I've never been to one. Mm. Yeah, we've been to, like, formal dining in nights. Yeah. Like, military style. Yeah. And some, you sit at the head of the table. The, if, you're, if you're the host, if yeah. you're the guest of honour, if you're the yeah. host, guest of honour, etc., yeah. you sit at the head of the table, you know, at the top. In but again, that could also be in the centre of your guests because of how the room's laid out. Yeah, but it's definitely not closest to the door. Depends on the shape of the table. <laughs> also depends. What on if you've got a round thing. table? Well, oh, you well, might be a knight. Could be King Arthur. Yeah, yeah. I'd only say you want to sit closest to the door if you happen to be the one serving at the same time. Yeah, yeah, you don't have other people no, serving for you. That. Yeah, yeah. That's the only time I think you'd want to sit close. To, otherwise, you'd just want to sit at the head of the table. Yeah. Um, or like say, if it's round, as best well, in the wherever middle you of, can. Yeah, yeah. Well, wherever you can. Or you, get can in. you sit in the middle, middle yeah. of the table. <laughs> just you, just you, sat there, cross, uh, cross legged, just cr- cross legged <laughs> on, on, on a lazy Susan, and you could just spin round <laughs> yeah. and family style, <laughs> <laughs> and keep, keep the conversation going. Yeah. You, can, you can mingle from the t- from the table. I like it. Mingle. Give, give everybody without... a high five on the way around. Oh, you just spin yourself really, far, really fast and uh, high five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, then do chopping like they do in those. Uh, I don't know. Is it Japanese places? You yeah, know, the yeah. old. Um... Yeah, you could be there on a lazy Susan whizzing round, yeah. chopping, going. Uh, That's it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Sushi. I see. Yeah. Fl- flipping food into people's yeah. mouths. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Scotch egg. Um, yeah. Scotch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so let's bring the context back to a normal dinner party. I would say the head of the table. I would say for dinner party, yep. I'd probably actually say by the door. Really? It's not a formal dine. They're not saying formal. No, no, it's, no. It's no just we're a saying party, it's formal. It? We're talking about etiquette. There must be a purpose to this. I'm thinking for answering the question correctly. I would say the head of the table. No, just go ahead. And say Otherwise, you'd say what well, if it's not a dinner party? Then it's just like a, a kitchen supper or. A, Come yeah. come around for a bite to eat or curry, curry, night. curry night. Oh, curry night. We need a curry night. Yeah. We should have a curry night. We should have a curry night. Anyway, so yeah, head uh, of the table. Head of the table. What is the longest you should leave it before sending thank you cards? Do you ever send thank you cards for anything? No. I don't think I've done it since I was probably about 10. Yeah. And, thank, e- and even then... The, the, thank you for having me. That's it. Thank you for my Christmas presents. Yeah. Mm, time TJ. <laughs> Four and a half. <laughs> D- DJ FM <laughs> FM <laughs> Hang on, we can fix that Oh, we can do that We, we can fix that FM <laughs> Oh dear, that's funny <laughs> FM Dear Auntie Susan <laughs> Thank you for my stuffed teddy bear <laughs> Which I shall treasure for the next two months, maybe, <laughs> before the dog eats it. <laughs> Love, CJ, aged four and a half. <laughs> FM. <laughs> FM. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Anyway, so <clears throat> what's the longest you should leave it? The options are five days, ten days, or two weeks. 
I'd probably just go five days. I'd, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, let's yeah, get it out of the way as soon as out, possible. Let's get the question out of the way by clicking five days. Yeah. Let's see what happens next. Oh, we got another one. Uh, which of the following foods can you acceptably eat with your fingers? Ooh, okay. Uh, the right. Options. The options are chips, mm -hmm. asparagus, or pizza. All of the above. That's true. I think let's assume that the, the, the answer is one of them. Okay. And let's assume that the context is a dinner party. Mm. Pizza. Do you think? Yeah, I think it'd be pizza. You think it'd be pizza? Yeah. Well, chips would generally come with something else, like, I don't know, a pie or which you'd Ooh, eat with a knife and fork. Yeah, which you'd Ooh. eat with a knife and fork. Yep. So you'd then eat the chips with the knife and fork okay. as well. Asparagus, well, I don't know. I assume people eat salad with a knife and fork. Asparagus isn't salad. It's green, isn't it? Yeah, but it doesn't make it salad. It does. No, it doesn't. Frogs are green. They're not salad. <laughs> well, there might be someone. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? I'm just a Frenchman. I'm not in your how you say squad. <laughs> Hang on, déjà vu. Dessert. Ah, yeah, déjà vu. It's a, is this a French phrase? <laughs> I've heard it before somewhere. It is my best friend, déjà vu. Hey, déjà vu. Yeah. Good to see you again. Bon nuit. <laughs> um. I'd probably say you'd end up eating asparagus with a fork. Um, so I'd probably just go, just go with pizza. Interesting. Yeah. It's the wrong answer. Really? It is. You're I know you... the answer to this, and the answer is asparagus. You think eating pizza with a knife and fork is acceptable? I do. And I also think that eating asparagus with your fingers is acceptable. All right. Sorry, mm. just happened to know the answer to that oh, question. Oh, and then Toph, I mean Ted. Um, <laughs> let me click asparagus. <laughs> Next question. Somebody new joins you at the table. Okay. I didn't know it was coming apart. Mm. Do, you, <laughs> do you have uh, had a good weekend? <laughs> and somebody, <laughs> I thought we parked that one. I, I even resisted. Resisted that just because I thought we parked it. <sighs> uh, what was that joke you told me the other day? Blue. Oh, what's blue doesn't weigh a lot. Yeah. Light blue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember where I heard that. Uh, I did. It's just one of those jokes. I was just like, ah, "That's great!" <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send that to everyone I know, <laughs> and I did. <laughs> so, somebody new joins you at the table. Yeah. Do you have to stand up? Yes. The options are yes, always. Only if it's somebody that you haven't met before, or no, it's okay to greet them while sitting down. Ooh. I'd say yes, always. Okay. I'm going to click that because I think that would be the answer. Yeah. Yeah. You were at a dinner party, people aren't just going to come in willy-nilly. Everyone's going to be sat down at the same time. That's true. So if somebody did then attend later on, i.e. the host, you would yeah. stand up to receive the host. Indeed. God, we're, we're proper posh, are we? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes, always. 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 And forever. Right, you're talking to somebody at a fancy evening do. Ooh. Mm. When... <laughs> Weird. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. fancy evening do. Mm. When they audibly pass gas. Gas? Gas. <laughs> Ghastly situation. G A R S. Gas. <laughs> gas. From their arse. <laughs> no, they, they, they pass gas. Mm -hmm. They go bright red and excuse themselves. What do you do? Better out than in, I always say. That's exactly what you do. Yeah. Actually, no. Oh, I joined them. You're the yeah. person. I was like, it's usually me that's it's dropped you. the bat. Yeah. This, this is the person. Yeah, I was like, it's usually me that's dropped the Why bat in the any yeah. fancy evening do? So anyway, do you A, reassure... It's interesting, I've gone to eight now. I was doing one, two, three before. Oh, you were, yeah. But anyway, A, <laughs> do you Z... <laughs> Bullet point. <laughs> Bullet point one, reassure them that it's no problem. Two... Laugh. <laughs> or three, don't address it. Smile politely and continue talking. Well, if they've excused themselves, I mm. feel like you should respond with a, don't worry about it. It's fine. Mm, interesting. If they farted and didn't say anything, mm. you just carry on. Unless you're me, at which point I go, bloody hell! Who was that? <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm leaning towards don't address it, smile politely, and continue talking. Because if somebody says to you, oh, sorry, you can just go, mm, smile, yeah, right. and move on. Without yeah. then saying, yeah, it's not a problem. Yeah, you just fart away. Yeah, we've we all been there. <laughs> we know the answer to the next one. This is easy. Go ahead. The first time that you address the Queen, Ooh. what should you call her? 
Your Majesty. Your Majesty. The options were My Lady, Your Majesty, or Your Highness. Ooh. Mm. Madge. Madge. And then forevermore, ma'am. ma'am. So it rhymes with jam and ham. Next question. No, there isn't the next question. We finished. Well, we finished the quiz. We Woo! finished the quiz. And I tell you what, we're going to have another track. Okay. And then we'll have the results. Whilst we collate the results. Well, we, <laughs> whilst we collate the results. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do some number crunching. While we do that, the next track we've got for you is from our friend Kelly Kintner, and this is Being Frank, the full band version. I'm bleach blonde like my daddy was At least that's what I heard He died when I was just a boy On pills and thunderbird Mama went off to join him When I was seventeen I took one in the chest and two in the penitentiary. I heard my own voice telling me to go. The TV's always in my face, so I just ride my bike. To my girlfriend's place Hello to no good nights Maybe they will find me But they're running out of time She can't see I'm ugly Everything's just fine I hear my own I don't have a lot to live up to Do I pray and bow my head or look at the sun? There's always a drink or a victim to run to I hear my own voice telling me to go was Being Frank by Kelly Kintner. Nice. 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 So, let's, let's have the results. Let's have the do, results. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. you want me to do a dramatic um, pause? Yes. Okay. That's just dead air. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, can fill it, I can fill it with sound effects. That's no, fine. no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, okay. And... The yeah. results are in. 
Lovely. It doesn't actually give us anything. It's not really itemized. It doesn't tell us what we got right and what we got wrong. Okay. But it does simply say, you smashed it. Smash it. S- smashed it. You smashed it. You would definitely not embarrass yourself in high society. <laughs> And I'm looking across the <laughs> so I'm I looking across would. the studio at CJ, <laughs> thinking, "How wrong you are! Yeah, how wrong could the the this newspaper be? How wrong indeed!" <laughs> well, uh, that was a bit of fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there we go. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so there we go. There we there we have it, folks. That's uh, that's us. We we smashed it in polite society. We're that good. We are that great. There's plenty of other quizzes on this particular website. Ultimate Quiz of 2018. See how well you remember the biggest stories of the year. Well, bearing in mind I don't remember really what I had for breakfast, Mm -hmm. I think this could be quite interesting. Right. Clickety, clickety, click. What have we got? Clickbait. (laughs) That's what what it all is. It's complete clickbait. Question number one. What was the middle name of Kate Middleton's third child... Born in April. Now, I've, I've immediately got an issue with this. Right. Because she's not Kate Middleton. No. Why do they persist? Because they're dumbing it down for stupid people. No offence to any stupid people who still refer to her as Kate Middleton, but she's not Kate Middleton anymore. It's all right. The stupid people wouldn't recognise the fact that they're the stupid people that we're talking about. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But D- Duchess, of, Duchess of Cambridge is, uh, you know, good, is the correct title. Yeah. Anyway, what was the middle name of... The Duchess of Cambridge's third child, born in April. Do not know. Was it Barry? <laughs> well, Barry chuckled. <laughs> was it Louis? Was it Arthur? Or was it Henry? I want to say Louis. Louis rings a bell. I'm trying to think what what kids they've had. George was the first one. Mm. Followed by... The girl. Was it the girl, the second yep. one? Which means that the third one would have been... Oh, Char- sorry, Charlotte was the second one. Mm-hmm. George, Charlotte, and Barry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> George, Charlotte, and... Wow, I really don't remember. I think the third one is Louis. I was thinking his, like, his in first name is mm, Louis. Mm. So maybe the middle name is whatever that third option was. Arthur. 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 Louis Arthur, yeah. Yeah. Right, we're going to go with Arthur then. I think so. Okay, let's click it. Right. Oh, we're getting we're getting results. Oh, we're getting results. Oh, this, one. Results oh, on this, this one. is great. Oh, this, oh, nice. this is much better. Sweet. Oh, we got that one right. Next question. Oh, hang on. It it gives us the information. Prince Louis Arthur Charles is now fifth in line to the throne. Awesome. Not bad for a kid who is not yet eight months old. I know. At the time of that being written. Next question. Question. Hang on. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Why are you looking at the wrong thing? No, it's fine. I'm I'm back on track. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Question two. Which world-renowned scientist passed away in March? Uh, oh, that'll be Stephen Hawking. It was, and we don't need the options. No. And we got it right. Hey. Next question. May 2018 mm-hmm. was the warmest May since what year? Oh, what are the options? The options are 1910, mm-hmm. 1975... Right. 1999 uh-huh. or 2017? I'm going to say 75. Really? I don't think that's right. No, see, I think, I think 70, because everyone was going on about the 70s last summer. Mm. Going, oh, it's not as hot as it was back in the 70s. Every, yeah. Everyone remembers 75. No, nobody remembers 75. What they remember is 1976. Was it 76? 76 was the hottest summer. I think that might be a red herring. It might be. Mm. A blue banana. It might be a blue banana. And it's the hottest May since... I don't think 2017. I think that would be a silly answer. <laughs> how, I, how crap if that's actually true. Though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> since records began yeah. last, last year. I don't think it's 75, because I think that's a red herring. Okay. 1910, I don't know. Mm. Did records uh, records know. even been taken I don't on the same know. basis? I'd go with 99 then. 99. Should yeah. we click it and see? Oh, we got it wrong. And it is? It is, in fact, 1910. Oh, right. 1910 was when records began. That was a record-setting year. It was. So it was officially pretty bloody hot, it says here. Is that what it says? Oh, yeah. Class journalism here. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Right, okay. Next question. Yes. How many people watched the royal wedding on UK TV between Meghan and Harry in May? Ooh. The options are 5 million, mm-hmm. 11.5 million, mm-hmm. 14.5 million, mm-hmm. or 20 million. I right, see. I'm. I'm. I want to lean towards the higher end because, well, it's Meghan Markle and she's yeah you know, all over the news and everyone loves mm-hmm. her and all that mm-hmm. crap. However, twenty million is an awful lot. That is a lot of people. I'd probably probably go at fourteen point five mil. Because what are we at? We're at about sixty, seventy million or something in the country. Something like that. Yeah. Right. This is on UK TV. Mm. Now, an awful lot of people watch things on the internet. An awful lot of people are too young, too old, and whatnot. Mm. I think once you slim it down, we might be looking at either 11.5 or 14.5. I think 5 million is too small. Right. I think yeah, it's going to be one of the other two. So, which one? There's not much in between. No, I'm leaning towards 14.5. Because like you say, people would have been watching online. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, was it a weekday? I think I was at work or something. Or... Or I was doing something else. Oh, yeah, good point. Was it a weekday or was it a weekend? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Either way, we didn't get an extra bank holiday. No. Thanks, Howie. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but no, I, I think um, I'll go with 14.5. Okay, 14.5 million. <laughs> yes. Wrong. It, it was, was 11.5 million. It was 11. 5. But you know what? I think we should get an honourable mention for that. I think we should. Yeah. And it, it says here... It's from not, powers of deduction. And, it's, <laughs> and it says here, not as many as you thought, right? True. Um, well, yeah, by about three million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't far out. Yeah. Because <laughs> a break, mirror. I mean, generic newspaper. Yeah, gen- generic... Generic red ge- top newspaper. With a low reading age, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, question number five. Where did dramatic rescue of children trapped in a cave take place this summer? Was it Malaysia? Was it Thailand? Was it Indonesia? Or was it Vietnam? None of those options have helped me. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm I'm leaning towards Thailand. I'm also kind of leaning towards... No, I think it's Thailand. Just okay, go, we'll give it, it Thailand. Let's go, yeah. go with Thailand, yeah. And we got it right. Hey. Yes. Uh, for a time, the search for 12 missing schoolboys and their football coach, trapped by floodwaters mm. in a cave in Thailand, was the biggest story on the planet. It was, yeah. It was indeed. It was also, uh, was it one of, at least one of the rescue workers lost their lives. That's right. I it have a, a question. As well. Why were they trapped by floodwaters in a cave with their football coach? Something doesn't ring true about that. They were obviously going caving. <laughs> I'm trying not to read too much into it. Cause... With, a, with a football coach? Well, I, I mean, thought... surely some sort of caving expert would be better. Well, yeah, but they obviously... I mean, apparently so. But it's no different to... Do you know what? The next time I go caving... <laughs> the next time I go caving... Don't go, don't go your Anywhere where coach. there's a risk of floodwaters, <laughs> I'm not taking a football coach. No, but what you would have had is... It's not is, the right skill set. What you would have had is oh, sorry, one, but... one of these like community sports leader qualifications. <laughs> yeah. which may, And he's basically gone, I can do anything I like. You know, any sports, <laughs> I'm there. I'm there, trapped by floodwaters. Yeah. But he was actually employed as a football coach, but was maybe qualified to do other things like go caving. Tennis. And tennis. And tennis. Yeah. Okay, question number six. Number six. Um, How many uh, questions have we got on this I one? I don't know, but let's okay. have question number six, and then we'll have some music. Then we'll take a break, yeah. Okay, so what was the name of the 1,400 kilogram steer who hit the headlines in November? Not a clue. Give us, give us some answers. I don't even understand the question. A steer is a horse. Oh, right. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, you know the line from Full Metal Jacket: yeah. "Only steers and queers come from Texas." Yeah. Private cowboy, and you don't look don't look much like a steer to me. Right, so okay. I kind of narrowed her down. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, talking about horses. Okay, so the options are boxers, beef, Peter, or knickers. <laughs> Please be knickers. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, it probably won't be no because it's because uh, they've worded it. Yeah. Uh, where did they say where it was? In November. 
<laughs> Where? Where's that? That's just outside Texas. <laughs> <laughs> only, only steers and come from yeah, Texas. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to say knickers. Yeah, please go. Please, I just want it to be knickers. I, we want it to be knickers. <laughs> um, but I think we got it right. It was knickers. Wow. It was indeed. Yes. Give us the explanation. It was knickers. It might be a silly name, <laughs> but good luck to anyone who wants to tease him about it. <laughs> we don't know the story, do we? No. Was it just the fact that it was called Knickers? Can I, hang on, I need to Google Yeah, this. we need to find out more about this. Knickers the Skier. <laughs> In Australia. Australia, mate. Knickers yeah. the Giant Steer is really quite enormous. Mm-hmm. Knickers... Oh, sorry, it's a cow, not a horse. Uh, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a horse. Okay. Why Australia's Giant Steer is so fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Well, there we go. It is, in fact, a cow. Yeah. Not a horse. We'll just cut the thing, cut the bit out where I said horse. <laughs> um, and insert. So, what, what we're going to do, I just need you to clip this and put just put this over where I say horse. Okay. Are right, you ready? So, hang on. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I don't understand. CJ, what is a steer? It's a cow. Is it really? Yeah. Do you not know the line from Full Metal Jacket? <laughs> Only steers and queers come from Texas. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it's a cow. It's a cow. All I need to just, just what I have to hang on. Cow. Now just cut cut that and insert that over everywhere I say horse. All right. <laughs> so what's a steer? Sure. Do you not know the line? A steer is a cow yeah. from Texas. <laughs> cow. It'd be like one of those answering machines. <laughs> You have got the three, dude. Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Just leave a message after the tone. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's what you need to do with that. Oh, uh, well, there we go. Um, <laughs> now, beef makes more sense. Beef would make more sense. It would make more sense. Yeah. But it wasn't beef. It was knickers. 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 So, yeah, let's have some music, shall yeah. we? Yes, let's have some music. Go intro. Big knickers. Big knickers. Big, big knickers. <laughs> okay, let's have Perez. This is Perez, new to the Tuesday show. With Get Away. And that's Perez with Get Away. There we go. Get Away. Get Away with Yourself. What was that? Was that the old... Was it Thompson? Thomas Cook. Get Away. Really cheap holidays with Thomas Cook. Get Away. Get Away. Remember that? No, I don't. What? I I don't know. Vaguely. God, you vaguely. You're crap at pop culture. You know that. Anyway, more news. (laughs) This is a news quiz. Uh, True. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Question number seven. Go ahead. In October, police in Blackpool launched an appeal for a suspected thief who looked like which star of the TV show Friends? David Schwimmer. Yes. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that quite because uh, David Schwimmer did like his own his own video, of, yeah, didn't he? <laughs> in response to it, he, yeah, he, he also got the shop owner's permission to do it. But yeah, yeah. He, he did his own little thing. It was really funny. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, I assume we got that right. <laughs> yeah, we got that right. We... <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> we are winners. We're yeah. all winners. We're all winners. We are both winners and losers at the <laughs> same time. <laughs> We're all losers here. Yeah. <laughs> Question number eight. Go ahead. Okay, eight. In February, mm. the nation panicked when which popular fast food chain ran out of chicken? I feel like this one's kind of obvious. Was it Pizza Hut? No, but that is one of the options. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. The, another option is McDonald's. Uh-huh. But we know what they run out of. Bacon. Bacon. Can't believe they run out of bacon. Yeah. Uh, well, it's clearly KFC. I pretty much say it was KFC. The other yeah. option, by the way, was Nando's. But yes, KFC was right. Yeah. And there we go. Right, question nine. Number nine. Number nine. Nine. In December, chocolate fans were fuming. Because which treat was under door number one in the celebrations event calendar? I have no idea. I have no idea. What are the options? The options are Bounty, Mm -hmm. Whisper, Twix, Milky Way. I'm going to say Bounty. I'm going to say Bounty. Because people seem to not like Bounty. Yeah. What's wrong with Bounty? I love Bounty. Some people just don't like coconut, do they? Some people are just weird. I know. Let's click Bounty. Yeah. You are correct. Yeah. The horror, the horror, it says. Can we just move on? That's actually made me angry. I want to, I don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> angry how? <laughs> it's an advent calendar. Come on. <laughs> just grow up. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, my God. I got a bounty in door number one on my Christmas advent calendar. It's full of chocolate. What's it's really bad for me. But they know, but they know don't they? Yeah. They know what's in the chocolates. Exactly. You know you, at some point you're going to get a bounty. Why are you disappointed that that was the first one? So yeah. even if it's your worst one, well, yeah. it's done. You've, uh, oh, it's actually, gone. No, what, would they rather have the bounty on Christmas Day? Exactly. That, that's why it's making me angry. Yeah. I can't... Oh. oh, dear, oh, dear. Don't they understand the true meaning of Christmas? And that's eat whatever chocolate you're given. Precisely. Jesus had no chocolate. He had to wait for his Easter eggs. <laughs> 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 oh, oh dear, dear! Religious jokes. <laughs> what else? What else can we do? <laughs> anyway, question number ten. Number ten. For what reason did this British woman, there's a picture of her, say her holiday to Benidorm had been ruined this summer? I vaguely remember reading about this uh, whilst I was doing Sunday Night Rock as one of the stories I was maybe going to talk about on air. Oh, yeah. And it was something ridiculous. I'm trying to think what it was because it was something really stupid. Mm-hmm. And it was to do with like other tourists or something. Okay. I think. What are the options? Oh, yeah. Was it abuse over Brexit? Uh, was it rowdy World Cup fans? Right. Was it food poisoning? Uh-huh. Or was it too many Spaniards? Oh, no, it was too many Spaniards. I remember that. Really? Yeah, I remember Spoil- reading. Spoiling the broth. I remember reading about it going, wow, you're such a racist. <laughs> Really? How can you go to Benidorm and complain that there's too many Spanish people there? So she went on the holiday. Uh-huh. It was ruined for her by the massive number of Spaniards there are in Spain. Mm-hmm. And then she wrote to complain. Yep. Wow. Yep. Ah, <sighs> dear. I hope she was reimbursed. <laughs> uh, so anyway, presumably she was there and she was complaining about the Spaniards and her husband was saying, hang on, I can't see any Spaniards anywhere. And she'd be pointing and saying, see, see, see. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, dear. Hashtag dad jokes. Yeah. Tennis. Tennis. So, too many Spaniards. And that's correct. Yes. Indeed. 81-year-old Frida Jackson thought her hotel in Spain had too many Spaniards in it. What a way to advertise to the world that you're slightly racist. Mm. Instead of oh, you know, just, Wow, I can't... 
Like I say, I remember reading about it and just going, wow, that that would be like me going to a, you know New York and saying, why is this place full of Americans? Yeah. Yeah. You know, sod off Americans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's going on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. So, thanks for taking part in this quiz. You scored 8 out of 10. Whee! That's a fair score, I think. Yeah. There are other sections. Are there? Yeah, there are. Yeah. We've got sports section. Mm. Uh, we've got showbiz and TV. Mm-hmm. We've got politics. No. And that's it. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you what, while we decide... While we decide what we're going to do, we're going to take our 8 out of 10 and celebrate that <laughs> uh, with some music. Yep. And it's uh, it's your one. It is. It is my... Classic track. Thank you. And today's classic track is The Phosphines with America. Classic track of the Tuesday Show podcast. By the Phosphines. Indeed. Are they American or are they Australian? They're Australian. Yeah, they are Australian, aren't they? Australia. Australia. Throw a shrimp on the barbie and... And all that sort of jazz. We'll have a bonza. <clears throat> bonza good time or mm. something. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. The Phosphines with America. America. So, we've decided we're going to go and do the sports quiz now. Sports news. Sports news from 2018. Yeah. Can you remember that way back for your sports knowledge? I've slept since then. I don't really <laughs> remember what happened. <laughs> okay, so question one. Which of these players did not score for England at the 2018 World Cup? The options are 
Jesse Lingard, uh-huh. Delhi Alley, uh-huh. Marcus Rashford, uh-huh. or John Stones? Can I have the question again, please? Yes. Which of these players did not score for England at the 2018 World Cup? Was okay. it Jesse Lingard, mm-hmm. Delhi Alley, mm-hmm. Marcus Rashford, mm-hmm. or John Stones? I, I'm going to go with option number four. Mm-hmm. Which was John Stones. John Stones. Do you know who John Stones is? No. Do you know who Marcus Rashford is? No. Do you know who Delhi Alley is? No. Do you know who Jesse Lingard is? Yes. Do you? No. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to know? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be able to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see if it was John Stones. John Stones, was it you? Show me John Stones. No, we got it wrong. It was Marcus Rashford, who, I don't know, didn't kick the right ball or something, whatever the question was. Next question. Next, please. Next, please. Marks and Spencer said that sales of what went up by 35% during England's World Cup run? I'm assuming England jerseys. Well, wait. I've got the answers here. Okay. None of them are that. (laughs) Okay. Was it beer? Was it Harry Kane masks? I don't know what a Kane mask is. Was it flags or was it waistcoats? Oh, it's going to be waistcoats. Now, the one thing I do vaguely recollect is the England manager or coach. Yep. Or whatever. Gareth Southgate. Right. Wearing a waistcoat. Yeah. For some reason, this was important. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's brought he brought the style back. And based on the fact that the question is, you know, from Marks and Spencer, didn't bring it back. I brought it back. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two two suits with uh, waistcoats. I was like, I've got two three piece suits yeah, at home. Yeah. I haven't worn them yet because I haven't had an opportunity. But yeah. um, I anyway. am trying. I am trying to find an excuse to wear my three piece suit somewhere, <laughs> anywhere. I don't care. Um, and yes, we are correct. Yeah, I'll say because it's Marks and Spencer. It's going to be a clothes yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. All thanks to that man. Well done. Yeah. Right, next question. We got one right. Hey. Sports. Nailed it. We're, P- pundits. We're, pundits. We're, we're, I say we're, we're, we're proper sports pundits. Yeah. We're, we're men. Um, question three. Following the introduction of VAR, mm-hmm. there were more than double the amount of penalties at the 2018 World Cup than in the 2014 tournament. How many were there? 15, 19, 24... Or 29? 24. Wrong. There were 29. But if you halve 29... No, 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 no. I thought that too. But then I reread the question. Oh. More than double. I'm, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. I see where you're going with that. So sneaky. I... I'd have gotten away with it if it weren't for those meddling words. <laughs> <laughs> Typical shabby Nazi trick. Yeah. Right. Next question. <laughs> what just happened to Mishi Biatchu? What happened to them? Yes. It, no, there's a, there's a picture. It's like, oh. like the spot the ball competition. Ugh. You've got to look at this on, the, on, on my screen. Coming around to have a look and... We clearly got blasted in the face, didn't we? Yeah. So it looks like he's been hit in the face. Blasted in the face with a football. Indeed. He either... He scored an own goal. Mm. He missed a sitter. Right. Don't know what that even means. Nope. Uh, he's been sent off. Right. Well, he's on. Mm. So presumably not. He's celebrated a teammate's goal by booting the ball into the post with the ball then smashing him in the face. That one. That one. <laughs> oh, we're correct. Yeah, what Next. a shock. Well, there we go. <laughs> Next question. We're good at this sport, yeah, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. I'll say next thing you know, we'll be on uh, Radio 5 Live. We will. <laughs> Del- <laughs> delivering all the, the latest sports <laughs> updates and commentary. Yeah. And it's Red Room coming on the left. Yeah. That, that's the football, and, what, uh, so, and one of the, one of the guys in blue has kicked the ball. Yeah, to another guy in blue. Oh no, someone in red has got it. Oh, it's taking possession. Yeah, um, school. Yeah, <laughs> that's badminton. Yeah. Um, so who? <laughs> question five: Who won the Six Nations in 2018? Doing so with a Grand Slam. Wales. Was it Wales? Yeah, it would have been Wales. Okay. Well, the options are England, Ireland, Wales, or France. Wales. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, it was Ireland. Oh, it was Ireland. Yeah. It was one of those two. So it was. Johnny Sexton and his pals won five out of five at the start of the year. Nice. Oh, it was this year um, Wales got the Grand Slam. Oh, there we go. I know it wasn't England. We, we don't win anything anymore. Mm. 
Right, who won the 2018 US Open after a Serena Williams meltdown in the final? Was it Simona Halep, Mm -hmm. Naomi Osaka, Mm -hmm. Angelique Kerber, Mm -hmm. or Joe Conta? I'm going to say Osaka. I'm going to say Angelique Kerber. Go with that. And I'm wrong. Who was it? It was Naomi Osaka. I told you it was Naomi Osaka. Oh, was it? Yeah, that's what I said. I went, it's Osaka. Oh, did you know the answer to that no, question? No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, because I'm I'm fully, fully up to speed with the latest sports news. Indeed. Of 2018. Right. <laughs> this is another picture one. It's, oh. It says, what's just happened? I mean, it doesn't matter what's just happened there, but it says, what's just happened here? All right, there's a man crying at Sydney Airport. There's our clue. The Australia cricket captain has been banned for a year. Oh, okay, that's why he... Uh, oh, sorry, these are the options. I'll, yes. I'm sorry, yeah. 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 Um, ch- remember, we're doing a quiz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought maybe that was a caption. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, but then I suddenly realised, yeah, it's, yep. a, it's a picture question. Channel 5 have stopped showing neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly that, yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Tim Carhill has retired from international football. Mm -hmm. The emotion of Especially For You by Kylie and Jason (laughs) has really hit home. Especially For You. It's got to be the emotion of Kylie and Jason's Especially For You. Do you watch Neighbours? No. Did you ever used to watch Neighbours? A long, long time ago. Um, And it was around the same time as Baywatch was on Channel 5. Oh, right. Yeah. No, Home, Home and Away? Well, and Home and Away, Home yeah. and Away, that was, that was on as well. Yeah, Home and Away was on. Um, what else? Let's see, there's loads of shows. Do you remember there. that weird thing with the, um, uh, about a lighthouse? No, it wasn't about a lighthouse, but it was about uh, strange things. Um, have you ever, ever felt like this? Do, 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 do. Oh, Round the Twist. Okay, round the Twist, that was it. Yeah, the strange yeah. things happening. Yeah. Are you going around the twist? Yeah, yeah I remember around the twist. Yeah. Mm. Um, right, so anyway. So Australia your... the cricket captain has been banned for a year. Yes. That looks most likely, and yeah. this is the answer. Yeah. Despite the tears, there wasn't too much sympathy on offer for Steve Smith after he and two of his Australian teammates were banned for ball tampering. Oh, uh, what. Yes, yeah, so I remember the old uh, people tampering with other people's balls. We mentioned it on this show. Did we? We spoke about ball tampering in season one. Really? Yeah. I have no recollection of that. <laughs> <whatsoever>. <laughs> yeah, no, we did talk. I think it was very briefly we spoke about ball tampering. Okay. So, question number eight. Go ahead. We're nearly there. We're on the home straight. Home straight. Who became the first European ever to score the maximum possible five out of five points at the Ryder Cup, doing so in the 2018 tournament? Was it Francesco Molinari, Molinari, uh, Justin Rose, Ian Poulter, or Sergio Garcia? That one. Sergio Garcia. Sergio Garcia. Incorrect. Mm. It was uh, Francesco Molinari. That's what I said. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Let's get through these. Yeah. Which goalkeeper is now the most expensive stopper in football history following a 2018 transfer? What's a stopper? Oh, a goalkeeper. Somebody, somebody stops bowls? <laughs> Sorry, I, it does say that. Which goalkeeper is now the most expensive stopper in uh, in football history following a 2018 transfer? Is it Alison? Don't know who she is. Is it Kappa <laughs> Ariza Belanga? Is it Thabalt um, Kutis? No. I don't know. Kotis? I don't know. Um, uh, or is it Gina Jan Luigi Buffoon? No, Buffon. G- Gino Ginelli. G- Gino Ginelli. Gino Ginelli. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Buffon. No, it wasn't. It was Capo Rappapagos. Uh, yeah. Capo Rappapagos. Yeah, excellent. We're doing really well. So much from that pundit career. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we'd probably have to know something about football. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we, we're going to win it all back with question 10. <laughs> yeah. Here it's we all go. to play for. All to play for. By the way, if, you, uh, if you're a football fan, uh, mm-hmm. you've probably not heard this... <laughs> You've probably not got this far into the show. No, so you've probably turned off by now going, good, these guys are rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you are, let us know where we're going wrong. Uh, question 10 of 10. Which team won the Europa League in 2018? Is this football? The, yeah, Europa League. Okay. Yeah. Was it Sevilla, Villarreal, Atletico Madrid, Scorcho, or was it Valencia? I'm going to say... 
Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid. Yeah, I'm probably completely, completely wrong. What What do you base your answer on? It's the only one I can say. It's the only one I remember out of everything you just said. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd seen it written down, you'd probably have a crack at something else. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's that random. Yeah. Do you know what? We just don't care. No, it's football. I don't, I don't give a monkeys. <laughs> we got it right. Yay! <laughs> yes, it was uh, Dago Simone's ball uh, balls. Uh, <laughs> Dago, Dago Simone's boys hammered their balls. No, hammered Mar- <laughs> Marseille three uh, zero in Lyon. Nice. Great. Cool story. Cool story, footballers. Yeah. Let's view our results. We got a massive four out of ten. We 40%. I'll take it. Actually, 40% sounds a lot better than it does four sound, out of ten. It does. It's weird, that's, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 40%. I'll take 40%. Yeah, I mean, that's that could be like a low pass mark. Well, so, well that's a pass mark if you're taking a you know, your degree or whatever. Well, yeah. At university. Good point. Mm, Good see? point. See? If, if that was a GCSE, we'd get an A star. Uh, maybe. Mm, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Right, let's wrap the show up, shall we? Let's wrap it up like a like a like a, a pig in a blanket. Yeah, so we've got one more track to play for you, and this is brand new for the show. And mm-hmm. this is uh, Chris Eilert with Glorious. 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 Mm-hmm. Glory be. Episode 20 of The Tuesday Show. And don't forget you can catch us on Twitter at Tuesday underscore podcast, on Instagram and Facebook at The Tuesday Show Podcast. If you want to search for Ted James, just search on all the platforms at Ted James Media and the same for myself at CJ Brooks FM. And you can also email us CJ and Ted at the Tuesday Show UK. But that's it. Um, that's enough of us talking. I'm CJ Brooks. He's Ted James. Have a fantastic week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ciao Bella. Ciao Bella. Ciao Bella. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, see, I love Italian. so cool Italians. Ciao. Ciao. I'm on my Vespa. Yeah. No helmet. Crazy. Crazy exactly. man. <laughs> Crazy motherfuckers. Uh, bye. <laughs>